that means that she will mark her 50th year of Hello Kitty. Wait a minute. She's gonna be 50 this year. No, next year. Hello, my Hello Kitty fans. This is Hello Gabius, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification, and like this video. Guys, I got another boxu box, and I think this is going to be so exciting to unwrap. So let's go ahead and get started. Received this one yesterday, and uh, I do love that they have the plastic wrapping over the box so it won't get dirty. I think though that this box did get a little squashed in the shipping process but um, I know that it's going to be clean and hopefully nothing is broken inside. I hear something. So as long as nothing's broken inside I'll be okay. Let's go ahead and open it up. So as you can see here, there's like a lot of, um, I mean, like something heavy was really on the box. Uh, but as far as the collar for the box, it says the birthday bash box. So Hello Kitty's birthday, as we know, is November. So November is Hello Kitty month for sure. Now, I also want to include Mimi, her twin sister. She always gets forgotten. It's always Hello Kitty, but hey, I'm primarily a Hello Kitty fan, but she does have a sister, Mimi. So happy birthday to her too. Nevertheless, this is a birthday bash box from Boxu. I just cannot wait. So like I said, the box did get dinged up a little bit and you can see more of a dent here. So I'm not sure what happened, but... Let's hope nothing is broken inside. So let's get started. I'm so excited. And ta-da! So this is what the box looks like inside. Kind of does not hint on much, but I do love the friend guide. So the friend guide is what's gonna tell us what's going to be in the box, all of the treats, and also the keepsakes. So this is volume four, technically box number four for Hello Kitty and Boxu. But you do see the birthday theme. You see that very decadent birthday cake already on the cover. So excited. And then the next box will be in December so this is just in time for a little bit before Hello Kitty's birthday we are in October and again Hello Kitty's birthday is in November so excited oh my god I think I already got a sneak peek of what I'm gonna get so I'm gonna close this up because I don't want to see anymore Ooh, so look at our stickers for the month or for the box we do have birthday themed stickers we do see Hello Kitty here in her little birthday hat, but also Choco Cat, Pom Pom Porine has a little birthday hat, Kurobi, Pocacho, Cinnamon Roll, My Melody, bows and candies and cakes and all of that. So these are the stickers for this box. And we do have the postcard and this is the founder's postcard that comes in every box and it does say happy birthday hello kitty and it does say that we are one year away from her big 50th year birthday here's to 50 more can you believe that i mean she is uh 49 then i can't believe she is almost 50 years old guys i mean for all of us that grew up with hello kitty we are just aging beautifully right along with her so oh i just can't believe it. and i'm i just can't wait on what they will come up with for the actual 50th birthday celebration for hello kitty and not just for box soup but for everywhere else i mean they used to have a comic-con for just hello kitty they had it one year 
I totally missed it and I still regret it to this day, but who knows? Maybe they'll have something like that for her big 50th birthday. So I can't wait to see what they'll come up with for Hello Kitty's 50th birthday. But happy birthday, Hello Kitty. She is 49 years old. I do have the paper coaster, very festive. And this, these colors are like a salmon color. Like that, like light red, like pink and orangey color, like a salmon color is what I'm calling it. And then we do have our circular sticker. And again, here is all her gang celebrating her. So much fun, guys. How exciting. I want to eat birthday cake already. Uh, I already see the big surprise. I see it. I see it. So I'm going to open up that little plushie at the end because I do. I just want to intake that till the end of the video. So... So first off, we have, uh, it has strawberries on the side. And as far as our brochure, let's see what this is. As far as the brochure, this is the Apollo chocolate. And it says, this is not a prank. Even the, the trickster Batsumaru wants to show Hello Kitty how much he appreciates her friendship by bringing her chocolates. Cool, so it is sweet. Um, and it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be looking like, like a little cone-like. So let's go ahead and open it up and see. Ooh. So this is what it looks like. Really cute. Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Really good. I taste like the chocolate. I think it's more white chocolate. The pink is white chocolate and then of course the regular chocolate. Not too sweet, but very good. Next item, I see two little donuts. And as far as the brochure, we do see Kuropi. So that's probably a Kuropi kit, uh, pick. And it says mini donut shaped biscuit. Mmm. So I don't see any frosting and I think that it's just the image that makes it look like if it has frosting, but it's just like a cookie. So let's go ahead and open it up. And again, these are fresh. So this I'm assuming has the expiration date of April 10th, 2024. The previous one, I don't see an expiration date on this. However, it, it's fresh. It did not taste stale or old or anything, so. Okay. So this is the little biscuit. Mm. Very hard. These are definitely good for like, with tea or coffee. Hardly has any taste. These kind of taste to me like those animal crackers, those American animal crackers cookies. That's what it tastes like, but a little less sweet. So we do have two little donut biscuits. Ooh, in our next set, I guess of little biscuits. As far as the manual, these are Melody's and Pocacho's Pig Strawberry Jinzuko. These are supposed to be sweet little cookies and these are birthday surprise cookies they're pretty in pink and they're supposed to be strawberry flavor so cool again i don't see an expiration date on the little package itself look at how pretty what a pretty pink cookie perfect for hello kitty's birthday Mmm, it's a butter cookie. Oh my God, it's so fresh. It has that perfect crunch. It is so good, guys, so good. I could eat like 20 of these. And I'm already making a mess on my desk. 
but these are delicious the strawberry jinzuko cookies okay next set of cookies i do see here it says a11 cranberry so it's definitely cranberry flavor but on the little window on each of the cookies it looks like it has like chocolate inside maybe and there's two cookies per little package as far as the brochure it says it's an all cranberry cookie and so this is a tuxedo sam favorite and they are meant to be sweet and these japanese cookies are full of cranberry for a terrifically tart flavor so let's see how they taste and again there is no expiration date on the packaging but uh, i don't doubt that these are going to be fresh little cookies so let me show you Ooh, you know what so it's not chocolate so from the little window it looked dark so i'm assuming it was chocolate but it's like dried up cranberry is what i see not chocolate mm, they do smell like cranberry Mmm, very soft, chewy, mm. and you do get the cranberry flavor when you bite into like the little dried up cranberry there. These are delicious, very good. All of these pair so well with any tea and coffee are your choice. Mmm, okay. And so now here we are with the hard candy and I've seen this packaging before and I love this packaging because it screams Hello Kitty to me. You see Hello Kitty and it's also the window for the candy inside. So these are hard little candies and they look like little balloons. So let's open it up. And this little packaging does have like a Ziploc closure which I love because I can keep around my desk and they will remain fresh. So these are the hard candy and very festive candy looking. And as far as the brochure, it says that this is the Hello Kitty Handmade Kyoto Terami Candy. So obviously they are sweet, but the flavors that you get are, it can be from anything from peach to grape to melon and more. So cool. I love it and love this packaging. Next one, um, these are Japanese rice crackers. These are meant to be spicy, senbei, and they look like little hearts from the window. This one is not a Ziploc closure. I wish that they were. So I won't have to be like, hurry up and eat them because they've already, I've already opened up the package. But as far as the brochure, so it says that it's a Hello Kitty spicy mini heart zombie. And these are rice crackers flavored with black sesame mustard and green seaweed, all topped with chili powder. So this is a Tuxedo Sam favorite and the flavor is savory. Ooh. Oh yeah, you could already see the chili powder. Oh my God, I'm gonna eat this one. Mm-hmm. So flavorful and this is really good really 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 good mm -hmm. that's perfect perfect crackers fresh um, as far as the expiration date it doesn't have an expiration date but the these crackers taste very fresh so I'm not too worried about that on the other packaging I forgot to look this one does have an expiration date, so it says September of 2024. So, but I don't doubt that the others are super fresh as well. Ooh. Next, these, it says bourbon. They look like a little slice of like a um, 
like a little bunt cake and there's two of them no expiration date that i can see on these but on the brochure it says that these are mini castella cakes um they're supposed to be sweet and i can just imagine these are a cinnamon roll favorite and i already know that these are going to be so good so let's give it a taste and they do look like little slices from like a little sponge cake oh my god so soft it is so good i mean i don't know how they do it it feels like um it feels and tastes like if they just sliced it up like a few hours ago um this is so fresh so tasty really really good very very fresh Ooh, look at this one guys so it is hello kitty and her little birthday cake and it looks like um it's like a wafer cookie with a filling inside so let's see what the manual says about these cakes Ooh, so this is a hello kitty custom print wafer cookie and it is supposed to be sweet and this one is a sandwich cookie between two rice wafers it's chocolate flavored yokan i'm not sure what yokan is if y'all know can you put it on the comments down below but let's go ahead and open it up because i can't wait so on top of this little uh sandwich cookie is this little screen printed of Hello Kitty with her little uh, birthday cake and you do see Hello Kitty and Friends and Boxu here as well. So this flavor inside or this filling is Yokan. Uh, it looks like fig from what I can see. Mm. So honestly, I don't know what it is. I mean, it hardly has any flavor. It hardly has any flavor. And um, I mean, these are wafer cookies, but so thin. And I cannot taste the filling inside. Um, comment down below and let me know <laughs> what Yokan is. So I'm assuming it's kind of like some fig filling. So, okay. So we do have a Hello Kitty custom print wafer cookie. Oh my God, I can't eat this guys, come on. Look at this cookie. So this is a Hello Kitty frosted cookie and it is a sweet flavored cookie. And oh my God, so this is a Boxu party pick and this is a perfect birthday cookie and i don't want to open it guys i don't want to open it because it's just too pretty it is just too beautiful so from a previous uh boxu box i still have this one this is like a little wafer hello kitty cookie and it does have the like the red bean paste that you will fill the cookie and i still haven't gotten myself to um eat it because it's just too pretty so and this is the same so this is supposed to be a hello kitty uh frosted cookie and um if it tastes just like the very first cookie that we got on the first box that from my melody it didn't have any flavor at all but uh, maybe i can make a little quick TikTok and i will let you know the flavor of this cookie Ooh, and then we have it looks like some straws and I don't know if these are cherries so it could be like um straw wafers it has a uh, february of 24 expiration date so this says that it is a koikeya and stick potato super mucho plum don't know what that is okay so it's a savory um i guess it's like a like a very thin potato chip slim chip so this is 
a Karomi's pig and it says that um, these are Japanese plum. Every bite carries the sourness of umebochi, pickled plum flavor. So let's open it up and see what they taste like. Oh, okay, I see what these are. Very, very thin. Mm -hmm. It's like a little um, potato cookie or sometimes when you order a salad at a restaurant, you'll have these like on top, like instead of croutons. And that's what these are. I hardly get the flavor of what this pickled plum is supposed to be, but maybe I guess I, I should be eating more of them. Nevertheless, they're very fresh and they're little like potato sticks, very thin potato sticks, but very fresh. So that's good. Next set of treats says bake. And don't see an expiration date, um, but the handbook says baked chocolate. So this is a choco cat. Favorite. These are supposed to be uh, sweet, I guess, little cookies. So let's open it up and see. Ooh. It looks like a Tootsie Roll, but uh, so let's see what it is, the consistency. Mm -hmm. It smells like a Tootsie Roll but it is a very thin cookie. Mm, this one I do get a lot of chocolate flavor. I'm kind of shocked because I really get chocolate flavor in this. It's so good. I wish it was a bigger cookie. Really, really good. Way to go, Choco Cat. We also get two mochi and one totally squashed. Mochi here, we've gotten something like this uh, before. And they're always so fresh. So this is a white peach kibi dango mochi. It's supposed to be sweet, peach flavor. So I will open up the one that is totally squished. Poor thing. Probably took the impact of whatever happened during transport. So I'm just gonna cut a little piece off of it. Mm-hmm very fresh it didn't open the package it didn't puncture the package at all oh yeah i do get peach oh my god this is so good really delicate tasting so fresh i mean it just melts in your mouth these mochis are always so 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 good so we get two white peach mochis Ooh, and we get an apple pie and apple pie or apples are synonymous with hello kitty because she's what four apples tall something like that so this is a pom pom porines pick and this is the apple pie it's supposed to be a flaky tasty crust it's filled with fruity apple jam so i love the packaging it's not a hello kitty packaging but it, it says the delicious apple pie finished up with harmonious materials. Okay. Expires next year. Ooh, so it's like a big old uh, soft cookie. So let's see what it tastes like. I hope I get a big old. Oh, look at how. Look at the crust. Mm, you can smell it. See the apple is already coming out through the bottom. Mm, so soft. Mm -hmm. So good. This would be good to put it like in your toaster oven for like a few seconds to kind of warm it up. And it'll be so good. It is really, really good. Perfect apple pie cookie. 
Ooh, and then this is what we got. We got um, a little Hello Kitty themed, like a little gumball machine, a little mini gumball machine. How cute. These are the things that make me happy when I open up a Hello Kitty packaging. I wish everything was Hello Kitty. So let's look this up and see exactly what I'm getting. So these are Hello Kitty Spiral Gum Machine with Chewing Gum. So these are chewing gum, different flavored balls, just like a gumball machine should. So let's open it up and see how it works. And um, I'm looking here at the bottom. I, I mean, I can't read it. And um, if it has an expiration date, I cannot see it. But hopefully they're fresh. This does say that it is a 2018 Sanrio product, but it could just be the packaging and not the products itself. What a cute little packaging. It's about 10 little gumballs and um, I'm not sure how it works. You can kind of see the spiral in here. Makes it so, so cute. I just love it. It's going to be perfect for my desk. And let's see how do you push it down or do you take this off? Oui. Okay, so I had like a little stopper here. Okay, and so now if I push it down, does it work? Oh, you push it, you push it in, and it's supposed to go around and round, but the gumball is, oh, there it is. <laughs> so this is a little gumball. Um, can you open it from the top? can't open it from the top. I wanted to put this gumball back inside. But that is how it works. It is so cute. So, so cute. Um, I kind of want to use it. I want to refill it. Um, let me see. No, you can't. Maybe here at the bottom. No. So I'm assuming that as soon as you finish them, that's all you're going to get. You can't reuse this little container. Uh oh, I accidentally pushed it again. So I'm getting another gumball. But nevertheless, these are uh, little gumballs. And it's a very cute uh, birthday Hello Kitty gumball machine. So cute. I really like it. And that is it for my box and last but not least is this awesome little plushie here Look at it. so this is the tag it says 2023 i like that and it is boxu hello kitty and friends and look at it. So she is holding her little box to Hello Kitty box. And you do see kind of like the outline here and the stitching embroidered of her little face silhouette. And oh my gosh, so she has her little party hat, her little festive pink star bow, and her eyes. And then she even has little rosy cheeks. How cute in her pretty little dress that matches her bow. So she has the perfect birthday outfit. Really cute. I love that she's holding her own boxu little box. How cute. I really like this. And as far as the brochure, it says that it's a Hello Kitty plush with boxu box. Exactly. So, oh my God, it is so so cute, so pretty, so festive. And just to show you on um, the brochure, it gives more information on the history of Hello Kitty. So it says a little bit more about your best friend. She first appeared in 1974. That means that next year will mark her 50th Hello Kitty birthday. That is so awesome. And it was created by Yoko Shimizu. That is the creative Hello Kitty. How awesome is that? 
And uh, for all the ones that um, may not know, there is an actual Sanrio Pearl Land. It's like a Disneyland for Hello Kitty, and it is in Tokyo. How awesome is that? And it says that you can also visit Hello Kitty cafes around the world, which is pretty cool. And the iconic Hello Kitty first appeared a coin purse sitting between a bottle of milk and a fishbowl. This, I think, was one of the first uh, items that she first appeared on and it's probably worth thousands and thousands of dollars now so that is so awesome wow i can't believe so i am so happy with this boxu hello kitty birthday bash box um i absolutely loved it i loved the stickers the paper coaster as always the treats are always so fresh um i can't wait to open this up i'll make a separate tiktok on this cookie later um this cute little gumball machine and then hello kitty herself and it is a very good size plushie it's like a medium sized plushie and you know that hello kitty plushies guys are so expensive i love that this is so cute holding her own little boxu box how cute is that? I loved everything about this box, guys. Of course, we could always uh, have more packaging with Hello Kitty on it. Um, but nevertheless, all of the edible items are very fresh and I do appreciate that. Um, but that will conclude this Boxu Box uh, haul. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell notification to notify you of when I upload a new Hello Kitty video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.